Farnham is a market town in the borough of Waverley. There are 12 villages within the nine wards, with each village retaining its unique identity and charm. When you ask people that live in Farnham where they live, people will say Upper Hale near Farnham, The Bourne near Farnham, Badshot Lee near Farnham, Rowledge near Farnham, or one of the many other villages. People move to Farnham villages to enjoy the village way of life, yet still live within a stone's throw of a bustling market town centre. So when you think of Farnham, do you think of a market town? The castle? Georgian architecture? St Andrew's Church? An urban area? Most people do not see beyond the town centre. But did you know that within a minute of leaving the centre, you're into the countryside? Less than 4,000 people actually live in the town centre, with the remaining 34,000 of Farnham residents living in the villages that make up Farnham. Farnham is nestled within a river valley, with the river way flowing through the centre. Whichever way you look, the view of the landscape is different and inspiring. So let's see what Farnham is really like. On leaving the town centre, whichever way you go, you're greeted with countryside. There are 12 main villages that make up Farnham and each of them very different and very special in character. Even though they are very different, they all have one thing in common. There is a strong sense of community pride. Each village demonstrates its community pride in a different way, whether it's improving an area for the benefit of residents or organising community events for the village. The village way of life is dominant, with many of the villages having their own village centre with convenience shops, butchers, bakers and even a local pub, all used by the villagers on a daily basis. People know who their neighbours are. Each of the villages has its own heart, whether this is a communal garden, a village school or the village hall. The village green contains a centre in some cases with its hive of activity from children's play parks to large open spaces. Step off the main road in any one of the 12 villages and you'll feel far removed from any urban centre. Many residents have deer in their back gardens, together with foxes, badgers, pheasants, adders and slow worms. Off the beaten track you'll find unadopted roads roads with no pavements, roads with no or very little street lighting. You'll even find a stream passing through a road. And yet you're less than two miles from the town. Part of Farnham's character is its openness and its fear of being a million miles away from anything urban. Farnham Park is right next door to the town centre, but you could be in the middle of nowhere. The housing characteristics of each village vary immensely in terms of density, size, style and character. From the Wentworth and St George's Hill of Waverley in Moor Park to rows of houses designed by Faulkner's apprentices a stone's throw from the heart of the town centre to flint-fronted cottages in the small twisting lanes of Upper Hale. Housing style in each village varies not only in terms of size, style and character from houses on large plots to rows of well-planned terraced houses to higgledy-piggledy streets with houses one on top of each other. Farnham is a mix of modern and old architecture as well as mixed housing estates. The historic town design from Borelli and Faulkner in the 1920s and 30s has shaped the historic character of Farnham. So Farnham is a sum of its parts. The villages that surround Farnham Town Centre each have their own unique identity and charm. And this is what makes Farnham special to residents and visitors alike. To learn more about Farnham, visit www.farnham.gov.uk.